Okay, hey guys, we are back for part two of sketching our bunny for the CAC hashtag event, Pogist. Yay! I will try to um, include a text frame somewhere in here that has the actual hashtag in it. Don't forget to go to the search box on YouTube, which if you're watching in a desktop browser is up above the video, and put the hashtag in and you'll find a bunch of other videos, really great videos, some really great content specifically geared for this event and if you have a specific kind of creative interest like painting or art journaling or something like that you can add that hashtag with the other one and those specific videos should come up. Uh, also don't forget to go to Shannon Green's channel she's got a really great um, uh, video channel kind of hop going on over there uh, with a few brand new YouTubers that have some really great content and so it would be great to go over there and watch their vi watch their videos, join in on that hop and show them all some love. Alright, so we are going to finish with, uh, continue, not finish, we're going to continue with our bunny and for this step you're going to need the blending stump. I'm going to use a 6B pencil and a charcoal pencil. Now if you have stick charcoal like this you could definitely use that. Um, I have the pencil, so I'm going to use it. It's a little bit less messy. Um, I'm going to start with the 6B pencil, which is a softer, darker lead pencil. And I'm going to continue with my drawing. And I'm going to start putting in some, you know, lines that suggest hair, fur. I'm going to also start working on coloring in and refining the shape of my eye. and working on all those dark dark spots. There's some. You don't actually have to draw all the hairs, we just want to suggest them. And right now what I'm doing is looking at the bunny and looking at all the dark areas of the bunny and adding some shading with the 6B pencil. And also I'm going to be going around some of my lines and refining them, cleaning them up. And underneath here there's some darkness here and I'm going back and forth with my eyes between the sketch that I made and the picture I have in front of me and I'm just again just going with the shapes that I see And then I'm going to go in with my blending stump because this is a soft graphite. Um, it's going to smudge and blend. And my blending stump is not clean, it's dirty. So it's already sort of pre-seasoned with some charcoal and, and graphite on it. So it can add a little bit to those shadows and aids me a little bit in, in adding some mudgy dark spots to my drawing already. See that was number two pencil and that was the 6B and it doesn't, doesn't blend very much. Okay, so let's continue on. Again, I'm just coloring in the shapes that I see, the colors that I see. And one thing I'll start to probably do is put something that suggests grass. His paws are kind of hidden by the grass. And I don't necessarily want to draw grass specifically, but I just want to hint at some grass, suggest the grass. If you get some graphite in the wrong place, that's why you have your kneaded eraser and it will lend itself very nicely to erasing those marks that are not in the place where you want them to be.
good. Now, I am by no means a realist artist by any stretch of the imagination. It is not what I normally do. And I won't say this is going to be a completely art, uh, realistic art, um, artistic expression of the bunny, because that's, not, again, not what I do. But it's a fun expression of said bunny anyway. So I am going to go in here and add a little bit more graphite. There. And now we're going to go in with our charcoal pencil which is really dark. And we are going to go in and really darken up some of the edges where we see the blackest parts of our bunny, like the eye, right? Now, if you put too much charcoal and you end up putting charcoal over something that you want to leave white, for instance, the highlight in the bunny's eyes, that's okay. Charcoal erases very well with the kneaded eraser. shadows underneath our bunny's neck. And add some darker spots here. Here. And I'm just following it around those places where I see those dark spots. I'm adding a little bit of charcoal. Which I'll go in in a minute and blend and smooth like I just did with the eye and it really gives it a really great look. Now we're going to go in with our blending stump. I'm holding it on its side and I have it parallel to the paper and I'm just going in with the tip and side of the blending stump and I'm pushing that charcoal around on my paper, smoothing it out, getting rid of some, maybe not all of the marks from the pencil, but smoothing out and spreading the pigment from the charcoal to make it something more suggestive of our bunny. And after you get your charcoal smoothed out, you'll have a nice fair amount of charcoal dust on the blending stump. So if you want to go and add some, you know, sort of medium darkish tones, anywhere on your bunny, you can do that. I can see like here on his fur, I can blend these bits out that I put on here and I can also spread some of this charcoal dust out and really just leave the part of his back here that is white. Same thing to his face.
Now if you get maybe too much charcoal somewhere where you don't want it, you can just, like I said, go in with the kneaded eraser. And you can erase all of it, or you can just erase some of it. It gives you sort of an interesting look. some darkness like between the bunny's feet down here so okay. my 6B. Oops. So just like when I paint, if as you're going you lose some of your lines, you know, bring one of your pencils back into the mix and firm some things up as you feel you need to. Now you can go in with a stick of charcoal or lead or graphite. I have both in this kit. I think for right now we're going to just stick to charcoal. And lay it on its side. You get a different look than you do with the pencil. And again, I'm, I'm, as, I'm draw, as I'm drawing with the charcoal, I'm looking at that picture. And I'm just layering my marks on top of each other. And you just want to keep doing this until you get something you're really, really happy with. my kneaded eraser into a point and see if I can get in here and erase some of these too many marks I made under his nose. Good. Do a little more blending now. It's not necessarily necessary when you're being suggestive with a drawing or a painting to blend out all of the brush marks or pencil marks. Leaving some of them will aid you in make creating a suggestive piece of artwork, something that's really interesting. 
I like that. He's turning out a little bit more hairy than the inspiration photo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of some of these wispy bits. At least for right now. Not completely, but I'm going to erase erase them a little bit because I kind of I kind of like some of them. Okay, that's pretty good. The other thing I'm going to do is uh, right in here. I'm going to create a light spot on his belly. And that's good. So we will be back with part three and final part for a our Creative Arts Collaboration hashtag event. I hope you're having a lot of fun. Don't forget to go out and check out some of those other videos. Have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, my information is in the description like, below. Like, share, and subscribe. And, um, you know, let's start a conversation. Tell me what you think in the comments about this bunny, and I will see you all later. Bye.